Okay, hey guys, I hope I have enough um, <laughs> time left to try to get all this in there. But um, this video is going to be about the moon phases. Uh, to help people understand how to work with the moon phases, like you can work with any moon phase. Um, so never feel like you missed out on a new moon or the dark moon or the full moon to do something. You can really work with every moon phase, it's just knowing how to work with them. But before we go into it, I'm going to go into the history of how we got the moon calendar and all this other stuff. Um, way, way, way back in matriarchal days, you know, I'm not good with dates and times, like actual physical dates and times. Way back in matriarchal days, like way back um, in, not in every area, but in a specific area where um, life really depends on uh, vegetation and uh, having gardens and fish and seafood basically um, they they, they uh, noticed that during uh, um, certain time of the moon which was the dark moon the water receded low enough for them to go and get like the shellfish and stuff from the water um, by now you should know that the moon affects the tides and the waves when the moon is full the tides are high when the moon is new, new or dark moon the tides are low so, what they also noticed is that um, during this particular time that, that, that the moon is dark, uh, the women had their periods because dark moon is a three-day period. And the women in origin, periods were only three days. This shows you how messed up most of our diets are because your periods really supposed to be no more than three days and it really shouldn't hurt like that. Um, and it, it does connect to diet. But that's all another thing. So, um... See, this is why I take notes because I go on a tangent <laughs> somewhere else. Uh, see, so the dark moon again. What they did was they noticed that during this time, that they uh, could uh, gather food at the same time that the one was on her period. And they also noticed over time with this that certain times of the moon, certain vegetables grew better, certain vegetables didn't grow um, better if they planted things certain, at certain times that. Um, that it would grow better than other times and they noticed that all this also went along with the cycles of the woman. This is how, you know, we end up getting a goddess and all that and why the female body was so adorned. And this is how it connects all to the moon. So because of all this, they end up making the moon calendar. And side note, um, if you want to go by the moon without having to uh, look up planetary alignments all day, just get a farmer's almanac. It's the same thing. When they say plant cherries, look up uh, the symbolism of cherries and then do spells according to the symbolism of what the cherries mean or whatever. When they say it's a good planting day, that's a good planting day to do spells, get work done. When it's not a good planting day, it's a good time to do spells to get rid of stuff or whatever. But you can always go by the far farmer's almanac if you don't want to look up astrological alignments all day long or feel like getting all the apps you need. But okay, so again, coming back on track. So this is where, uh, so when we understand the new moon, the, the, the dark moon, okay, we're starting with the phases of the moon. We start with the dark moon. And the dark moon really is creation. You know, like I always, I always put the Bible when it comes to it, all the dark comes to light. Because in the, dark, in, in the seed is darkness. No one can see that until it cracks open. And then you see light coming out of it or the plant or the seed or the, um, not the seed, I'm sorry, or the plant growing out of it. The stem of a plant and leaves about to grow out of it. So, you know, this, that's all connected to it, too. So, first you have the dark moon. And the dark moon is really good for um, rebirth, changes, um, getting ideas for things that you want to do, um, ending cycles that you want to do. Like, the dark moon, personally, I say the dark moon is great for everything. You know, the symbolism of the dark and the full moon actually is the circle. Um, the dark moon being a dark circle and the full moon being a light circle, but it's still a circle. And the circle in origin is the symbol of creation or the creation egg that holds everything together. It's the symbol of um, spirit. It's the, uh, it's the also it's the uh, the snake biting its tail. Um, for y'all who know that, call someone a snake biting its tail, which is basically just death and rebirth are one of the same. So the dark moon is great for for that for. Uh, working with rebirthing yourself, regenerating yourself, getting creative ideas, getting things together, making sure things um, you don't want, you're putting it back you putting it back in the dark where it belongs and things that you want, you're getting gathered for it to come out to the light. So then from the dark moon, you go on to the two, you go on to the new moon. Now the new moon is a time where potential is just burst, bursting forth, forth, I'm sorry. Now with this potential bursting forth, this is a great time to um, start uh, 
not gathering materials because you should have did that with the dark moons but start working with the materials and putting them together to see the potential things that you could create and you can manifest um that's not necessarily a good time to i wouldn't say do the money spell the new moon but it'll be a great time to uh to like enhance this money spell you should already start it on a dark moon like because everybody talks about money so why not use that as an example um and then uh i just lost my train of thought Oh, and then like on a new moon, on a on a new moon, you would just light another candle to enhance its potential, or whatever. But you also should be working on ideas practically. Hey, baby, sit on the couch. You also should be working on ideas practically of getting together, making this thing manifest. Cause I need to do another video on that of how spells truly work. Um, Cause it's not just like poof and everything. You know, it's cool. It has other stuff that you have to do along with lighting the candle and stuff too. But um. Okay, so we have the new moon, which is all potential, and all the energy is coming out. It's just like the seed cracking open, and you see life starting to bloom, and it's potential of where it can go. That's the new moon. Now we have the waxing moon, which is the building. It's um, it's, it's in terms of creating, it's building. It's like um, it's the time to put, it's the time to put the engine together to put it in the car. Uh, it's the it's the person in the heat of the moment when they're painting a picture and, and they're getting a vision ahead and they're just painting and painting and painting like it's waxing it's building to its full potential you in the midst of working that's the waxing moon now with the waxing moon comes the full moon now I'm not breaking down all different parts of the waxing moon because we know it's the gibbous and stuff like that I'm just keeping it very simple so with the with the two weeks of the waxing moon right about you get the full moon and with the full moon it should be Everything is done. Everything is perfected. You're ready to show. You're ready to show this to the world. That's basically the full moon. So full moon is more about completion. It's done. It's finished. I'm ready to like release it to the world. I'm ready to birth it to the world. That's more the full moon energy. Now after the full moon, you have the other two weeks. And again, I'm not gonna go into all the terms of the swing, but you lit, but keep it simple. You have the two weeks of the waxing moon. Now the waxing moon is basically again the energy is waning back down or if you want to take it to uh understand it the the chrome phase of the goddess whereas wisdom which as you should have done this project and now you're gaining wisdom from what you did and you're seeing where okay i could have did this better okay i could have did this better and you're you know you're analyzing and you take taking stuff away that you don't no longer need or you don't no longer use and this also includes mindset and things like that it doesn't necessarily have to be material, but you're analyzing and cleaning things up because by come dark moon again, it's time to time to bury all that crap and use only the goodness to recreate whatever it is you're trying to recreate. Um, that's a simple way to if, if, simple way to understand how to work with the moon, the moon and energies, or at least how I work with the moon and energies. Everybody's different, so that's how I work with them. Um, the only other thing is when. Um, if you're like in in the middle of it and you want to know a quick way to see where the moon's at, go outside. If you're seeing majority of the right side of the moon, then it's waxing. If you're seeing the majority of the left side of the moon, then it's waning. Um, if it looks like the moon's even, give it a day or two so you know exactly whether it's waxing or waning. Um, if 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 it's like the full moon, the moon, you know, look at it one day and go, oh, okay, I see the the side that's glowing. Is on the right side. Okay, then go out again. Okay, it's the side that's glowing that's on the right side is glowing more. It's a little bit more. So then you know that the um, the, the moon is waxing. If you notice that the side that's glowing is getting darker and darker and darker, you know that the moon is waning. It's not. It's not that really that hard to tell the moon. You just have to go and look, and like they did in the old days, actually go out and look and study the stars because that's what they literally did in the old days. They didn't have this uh, technical stuff, and it's actually good to connect back to nature that way. So I hope that it helps you understand the different moon phases. Um, if not, I could do a part two and go deeper, but I just want to keep it simple terms to give you an idea how to work with the uh, different moon phases, okay? So everybody stay blessed. Peace.